And I never said no. So now we are uh, right before the high holidays, the Rosh Hashanah. We need to speak about a very important uh, detail that applies to all of us, especially those who are married. He says, Adam Rishon, what did he say to Hashem after the forbidden fruit was, uh, was, was, was eaten? So it says, it says, Hashem said to him, oh, what did you do? He said, my wife, she gave me from the tree. Va'ochel. She gave me from the tree and I ate. But if you, if you see the translation over here, va'ochel also means, and I shall eat. Which means that I will eat. I will do it again, he was saying. So uh, the sages teach us in uh, Midrash that uh, the va'ochel is also future tense. And means he was telling to Hashem, Hashem, I ate from the tree and I will continue to eat from it. Oh, such a chutzpah. What, what is Adam Rishon saying to Hashem? How dare he say that? And then, and then it's so weird. At the same time, we see after he ate from the tree, he comes to Hashem and he does teshuvah for 130 years. He's doing teshuvah all his life. I don't understand. So he's a sadiq. He's not a sadiq. He says to Hashem, Nazlo, I'll eat more. And then he says afterwards, I'm doing teshuvah. What's, what's going on with Adam Rishon? So really, I'll help you Adam Rishon explains like this. Has the Shalom, Adam Rishon, never spoke with chutzpah to Hashem. What he was saying was, he was doing vidui. He was confessing to Hashem his fault. What's his fault? He says, Hashem, I know my sin it was not a simple mistake. It's with my character. It's deeply in my character. I sinned. You know why? Because I was not strong enough to stand up to my wife in order to fulfill your will. That's what it means. He says, I was weak. What does it mean? I ate and I will eat. If I went through this again, I probably would eat again because I would fall to the orders of my wife. I would not be able to strong enough to hold to stand up to her. So if he says it was a confession, it wasn't that we was doing audacity to Hashem. Chutzpah to Hashem, chutzpah shalom. And then what does Hashem say to Adam? Not because you ate. Why did you get cursed? Why did you get punished? Because you listened to your wife and you ate. Now, da, 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 da. all these problems. Why? Because you didn't learn to be a man, to be for for mitzvot and for Hashem, you gotta be a man for Hashem. And why? Because you gave in and you were like this, chili baby. That's why you got all your problems. Now, listen. Don't take it like I'm saying that you now should go fight with your wife and you say in the you know Don Cologne in your house. Oh, sushi me, eight windows to this house, two doors. Choose which one you want to go. Da da da. All that nonsense. I'm not saying to do that. Rabbi again is saying that a person has to not give up so easily. He has to really push. And with, obviously, Darke Shalom, he has to show his wife how important these things are to him. And when she sees it's important to you, she'll, because of her love for you, she'll sort of think differently because she sees how dear it is to you. But if you think, oh, Rabbi, I didn't come to show you, you know why? Because Shalom Bay. I didn't come to show you, you know why? Because Shalom Bay. I didn't go and do this mitzvah. I didn't sing the sukkah because of Shalom Bay. Oh, every single thing you could give excuse, uh, Shalom Bay. So therefore, what? So then your wife learns. She knows now. You taught her. If she complains, that's it. Whoop. That's it. He just uh, throws everything on the side and you run for her. Now, obviously a person has to try to, you know, help in the house and obviously make his wife happy. But a person has to show importance to the mitzvot. And when you don't, and when you and you just easily give up on the mitzvot, th this is the sin of Adam Rishon, says the Rabbi Ali Yopian. He didn't show the importance of the mitzvot to his wife. And what? you have? I know a lot of people. Who are very religious? They'll go to Nance, they'll put the do the fill in, go to Mikvah every day, learn in the morning, learn in the evening. But their wives are not on the level that they are. They're not there at all. And then they bring them down, and they bring them down, and they bring them down. And you see the guy, why are you at this mixed party? Listen, my wife, why are you going and doing this? Listen, my wife, why are you, uh, because my wife, why are you kids in this yeshiva? Because my wife, uh, all these things, he, he has no choice. He, he's, uh, my, uh, I'm, a, I'm a hostage, uh, Rabbi, uh, what should I do? Why? What is this? Adam Rishon also said the same thing. And look what happened to him. Therefore, a person has to know that you have to be strong. And this is the trait of the root of the sin. And the reason behind he has such a severity. A wife can nag her husband and torment him until he crumbles. She can wrap a sin in a mitzvah. There's places they're forbidden to go, or the, and, and, and it's not a, and it's not right to go there. And she'll convince you it's a mitzvah to go to these places. She'll convince you it's okay, right? We have a mitzvah to go to a kosher, modest, proper wedding or a funeral. But if there's things we're not supposed to see, or if vacations we're not supposed to go, no, it's okay. You can look, you can look, but don't touch. That's what they say. What, what kind of what kind of lady is talking like this? What kind of your Shammai lady talks like that? Person has to know that their wife can make you schlep you to a place you don't belong. Why? Because you never, 
You know, there's the joke they say when the guy, he's, why he breaks the glass, they say it's the last time to put his foot down, right? Every, every, and the rest of his life, he's never putting his foot down. Has to show him. No, no such thing. Of course, Hashem gave a woman, and they are exempt from time bar mitzvah because they're more spiritual. They can smell if there's holiness or not. It's just they have to be honest with themselves. And you need to help them. It says by Mordechai that he raised Esther. Question is, but he was married to her. What does it mean he raised her? Yes, the, the, the Farshim tell us that Mordechai, even though he was married to Esther, in many ways, you need to raise your wife. In many ways, you need to teach her a lot of things. You teach her about money. Some ladies don't know how to spend money. You teach her about the, how the world works and how to pay bills and, and you know, and, and how the outside world and business works. A lot of times they don't know. They, they, they never do these things and they, you teach them about it, right? They learn with you. Same thing with spirituality. You got to raise them. A lot of them immature sometimes. You have to make them mature. You have to wake them up and show them what life's about. And it could be the other way also. It could be there's some men who are immature and the woman teach them. It's not, it's, not, it's not only one way. But the point is that a person has to know that when we examine our own heart and we know this is the truth, we have to show our wives, you should also examine your heart. You should also admit to the truth. And when you're scared to stand up for the truth, I'm not saying to break Shalom Bayit. Again, I want to be clear. Don't come home guns blazing. All I'm saying is, your person has to make sure to make an effort to show how important the mitzvot are and not to just give up. Baruch Na'olam.